The Malacca Sultanate Palace is a wooden replica of a Sultan Mansur Shah's 15th century palace and now houses a museum dedicated to the history of Malacca and its royal family. The museum occupies three levels of what was once the largest palace in the world. Upon entering the museum, there is a scale model of the palace, and on the far end is the royal audience hall where the sultan would greet foreign dignitaries. Adjacent to the audience hall is a set of stairs leading to the palace's second floor. Turning to the right upon ascending the stairs, the visitors will see the sultan's bedchamber. In the center of the room is a display of royal ceremonial costumes. Across from this display is a set of stairs leading to the third floor treasury room, an area not often open to the public. On the opposite end of the second floor are a series of dioramas detailing the story of Tun Kudu or Tun Fatima, who was forced to renounce her first marriage and marry the Sultan, becoming the Queen of Malacca and a charismatic figure in the process. Descending the stairs near the ceremonial costumes returns visitors to the opposite side of the first floor, where there are a series of dioramas retelling the Tuwa legend, the epic struggle between Hong Tuwa and Hong Jibat, a tale of friends who became enemies and which emphasizes loyalty to the Sultan and ultimately forgiveness between friends. Exiting the display takes visitors to a corridor that encircles the outside of the first floor. On the exterior wall are three dioramas that display the dress, the appearance, and the trading goods of different groups who traded with Malacca. The first diorama depicts the Javanese traders and their spices. The second display features the Chinese traders and the porcelain and tin goods. The final diorama in this wing shows the Arab traders and their glassware. At the end of the corridor is a display of traditional Malay weapons. Traveling down the back side of the corridor toward the opposite end of the palace, there are display cases of traditional Malay costumes. Returning to the second section of the front corridor are three more dioramas, again featuring Malacca's interactions with the wider world. The first is the Nobat, the royal ceremonial instrument players, which was adapted from Islamic ceremonies of the Middle East. The second diorama features the Siamese traders with their silk, gold, copper, and ivory. The final diorama features the Gujarat traders of India, who served as important middlemen in the Indian Ocean trading network and provided cotton, textiles, and tin ingots.